Hey guys, it's me Jasmine. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the four picture corner corner rotate on A Light Motion. It's like a spin kind of. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is add on a square and make sure it fills the whole screen. Well, not stretch, just like fill. Zoom it out just a tiny bit, not a lot, just a little bit, and then duplicate that, but make it a different color this time. So I'll just do white, and then I'll zoom out just a tiny bit so it has like those edges on it. I'm gonna change this color. I don't really like it. I'm just gonna do white and black. Well, maybe not black, just because you can't see. I'll just do white and pink, okay? So we're going to do that. And now what you want to do is you want to add the little cross right here. Zoom that in so it fills the entire page. I'm also going to change the color of this. I really don't like it. So we're just going to change that to, like, blue or something. I don't know. And then make it so it's a really, really, really skinny. Or try to make it as, as skinny as it can be, you know? So now go ahead and add on well mask them just go ahead and mask them not mask oh my god sorry and every 30 seconds go ahead and add a little marker um yours might have the ribbon on it for your marker if you have an android that's what i realized you can't and i called them keyframes before they are not keyframes do not listen to jocelyn when she said that because they are not keyframes in the slightest bit I'm just making mine extend to three seconds. You can do yours as long as you want. So like I said, every 30 seconds, I'm going to add a marker for each photo. Just like this. Now I'm going to add in my pictures. I'm going to fit them so they fit inside these little square boxes. <laughs> Also make sure that the second photo doesn't start until the 30 second mark and so on with the photos, but do make sure that all of them extend to the 3 second length. Now go ahead and on each of these photos, sorry I need to crop this real quick, on each of these photos make it, sorry I gotta turn on do not disturb, make it so that it's zooming in. So on like on the first keyframe make it zero and then make it zoom in like this for each photo and then just do the graph I'm doing. You don't have to, I just find this graph a little bit easier to do than others, so yeah. Okay, so now that each photo is popping up like this, you could add a motion blur if you want. You don't need to. Go ahead and select all the layers and then group them into one big group. Now go ahead and make it like the corner go down to here. And on each one, spin it so that you can see it. Okay, well, I'm going to need to. This is what it looks like at first. So then on this photo right here, spin it so you can see this one. You might want to rotate them a certain way before you do this, but that's optional. I'm not going to for the tutorial because I already kind of did it, but um, I might go back later and fix that. So for each time the picture pops up every 30 seconds like you marked the first time, just turn it another negative 90 degrees. I'm 
whenever I do this, this part right here always messes up. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that real quick. So yeah. Okay, guys, edit. this is me um, editing the video. I figured out how to get the picture to come up like this. So my main problem was that I didn't position it the right way. So the first and, well, the second and third picture right here, um, they both need to be starting at the same time. That might sound weird, but it makes sense in the long run um, or else it'll, it, won't, it won't look right. As you can see, you want them both popping up at the same time. You might be thinking, well, why is that? I thought they're supposed to pop up at different times. I thought that too, but I just redid it and now it looks like the way it's supposed to. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. This is just how I usually do it. Well, this is the first time I've learned how to do this specific transition and I learned it today. So yeah, you can either do it this way or you could do it the corner way like I showed you. I prefer this way just because it looks a little bit cooler. But yeah, that is technically it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you. And comment down below any tutorial requests that you guys may have. And yeah. I love you guys. Bye.